Woo. What's going on guys? JSO Killer here and today I'm once again playing Deponia. Mm, Deponia the complete journey. Hold on. Give me give me a, give me a second. Ciao. Alright. Alright, my bad. I don't really care about the recording. Alright, it's not what I meant. Alright, so I'm back here playing this amazing game. Um yeah, part four, I think. Because I cut two and three into two different episodes. Well, part two into two different episodes. So I'm right here. Don't know what to do here. But I'm going to click this guy. <laughs> yeah! Gizmo's emergency station. That's exactly the point where my scripting team learned to hate me. And I learned to uh, um, give myself kind of an evil laughter. Um, I actually have the same team of scripters for the whole Deponia trilogy, or at least the lead scripters were the same. During Goodbye Deponia the situation was a bit more complicated. Anyway, the three who were sticking around from the beginning to the end, uh, are yeah, Claudia, Alex and Simon, and those three pulled off miracle after miracle. <laughs> and I still remember, of course, how this screen earned Simon and Alex their uh, first bags under the eyes. By now they got a lot of those, but there, uh, yeah, they've got their first. Cause this room is really uh, alterable and got all kinds of animations that need proper timing with objects that needed different conditions and states, and yet it all had played quite well together. That was a huge, huge, huge challenge. As it was, of course, for the artists. Um, I, I clicked out of the game, I'm sorry. The cheap? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I don't think that had anything to do with the story, but just this room. I'm sorry. So, I don't even know. Where's my little... That. So... There's no, like, tips. One? 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 Okay, hold on. So first off, I don't know why. That, that The first part was really quiet. I didn't do that. Second off. Everything else should be... It wasn't, like, singing for a bit. Well, like give me the tips. What do I have to do? There we go. Find a radio. Contact Goal's fiance. I love how I'm still just calling her Goal. So, yeah, the long one took a bit. Or the last one, sorry. The last one was a long one, nonetheless. So, I'm in for a bad time. No, I don't want to go there. I'm going to the shop. I. I forgot where everything was. I forgot what the places look like. It's only been like two, three days. I have a new respect for like the YouTubers that play things after months and months and weeks and everything and still remember literally everything. You don't have a radio. I gotta got go. <gasps> but here. An anchor stuff. I don't think Wenzel will have it. That means that there's only Tony's house and whatever the hell is out there. I mean, Wenzel won't have it. What? what? You. What? You double click and you just like instantly go. All the walking. All of the walking I've had to do. It's not even that much, but just double click. That's it. So I'd... I'm sad. I went through so much in the recording because. Oh my luck. I didn't want to go to like any of the people's houses because I didn't want to do all that. I still can't go down here. Don't know what that is. 
we found a radio. So might as well check out Wenzel's then. Water. That is so messed up that I'm just now finding this out. Town hall's the only place then. Hello, Lottie. You will get. <clears throat> Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him. At the post office! But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? What if I do that? I officially... Although a lot of people... Me... For that won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. I'll skedaddle. Communicator. That'll work. Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Oh. Who could possibly succeed except for me? This thingy. This technology. Never mind on that thingy. Oh, wait. Yeah, hold on. I forgot that's thing. That bell. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's it. The post office. <coughs> the post office is closed. Until when? Until the. But there's no clock there. Very absurd. And now. I see something. Right there. There's like a little hidden thing. I'm. I'm at a loss. <laughs> there's a clock on him. Can I like fast travel up here? And now I'm just a thug. <laughs> Long thing the perpetrator. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What do I need this for? I'm a genius. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my! You didn't expect that? No. No, right? Aha, I'm a genius. What's up? You got a phone anywhere? Operator's platform, okay. Uh, hi. Please state your business. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. I'd like to register a private radio device for long distance calls. Very well. Where shall the device be installed? Um, Tony's house is located in Grid Square 4, right at the East Tunnel exit. Your order has been placed. The installation of the device will presumably be completed in calendar week 63. What? That's a quarter of a year from now. I'll have long since left Kuvac by then. The installation of the device will take 3.799 months. During this period, your house will be disconnected from the electricity grid and the community's water mains. Ear protection muffs for the noise during the nightly drilling 
are included in the costs. By what means do you wish to pay? Yeah, uh, Tony will pay for me. I'm gonna ask. I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Oh. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes. It's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. <laughs> is that fun too? Whoa. If you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, fun. I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3. And that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> See ya. Okay. Well. What's up? Hey. Yoo-hoo. Hello. Hmm? Yeah? What's up? Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. Oh. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh. And what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off. This device is for Postal Service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to. But you're not using this device. Capiche? Can I transmit now? Not from this device. Hmm. Where can I make my call from? Is it local? No, long distance. <laughs> Good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. What do you mean, suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone else is suffering from your deluded sense of self-importance. Heh, <laughs> that's more like it. Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. Give an annoying voice. I'll be going then. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. Uh. Do I have anything? I need the vouchers for something because I was able to take them. Whoa. Well, the pigeons get their bearings from the planet's magnetic field, right? So, let's see what happens if I... <laughs> I love to play God. One, three, two, is it? It's already like that, so long. If I go... I'm sorry, I've been at this for seven minutes now, and I can't get it for the letter. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. What? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. It... Hey, hello? Hmm? Yeah? What was that about? You mean the fact that they take their bearings from the Is that not fair? You're right. That is the same.
How's work? Everything's calm, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvac. I'm as chilled out as can be. What? Pray tell? Should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid? Uh, okay. I'll be going there. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. I to I don't know what the pigeon thing did. Is a hatch. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow, or a bit too fast, and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. Mm. Error. Error. All right, suit yourself. Error. Error. All right, suit yourself. Can I use something on him? I got this lockpick, and I don't remember if I ever used it or not. I don't want to send that. And who would I want to send it to? The only one who knows how to handle the thing is me, after all. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean... Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. Hmm. <laughs> right. It should shift back a gear. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. I can give the cat tranquilizer. Can I give this one espresso? <laughs> right, it could really speed up a bit. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, the coffee wow. makes it work faster. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should apply for a job as producer for a video game developer. What does that do? I give them both coffee or both tranquilizer. I'm gonna give them both tranquilizer. It should shift back again. Oh wait, that puts them on normal. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. The oh, way the vouchers. He's asleep. He won't yeah, I've got these it. gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One lot supply. Where, where, where? Address. What? Dispatch. Okay, that did the normal thing. So oh, wait. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. So what makes it a light package? Pigeon from small pigeon hole. I want us to be the big pigeon. Okay, so if he's going slow and the other one is making not necessary. What? So if that one's going slow and that one's going fast, then he'll spit more stamps? It could really. And could that work? 
Hey, hey, hey. I don't know what determines the amount of the weight it is, but I'm hoping this is right. Yeah, I've got these gift vouchers. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply. Where, where, where to? What? Is yeah, so he's slow, and he's spinning them really fast. Four of them. So does that mean? Postage being scanned. Error. Error. Postage paid is three times as much as it should be. Packages of postage level three are not suitable for the transport of small goods. Padding with bubble wrap initiated. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 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 yeah. One heavy package is being dispatched. Yo, pigeon fine. from large pigeon hole is being dispatched. There we go. And it's a really small pigeon, so it shouldn't be able to carry it. Aha. Uh, hi. Please stay your No. See Do I have to give him the bowl wrapper? Pop. Pop. Ha ha ha. Pop. 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 Oh. 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 Yeah. Error. Error. Uh. Is something wrong? Shall I leave you alone? Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, whatever you say. No, don't leave. Oh well, now he's finally blown his last fuse, which was to be expected. Yes. Um, what is this? Someone has pierced some holes into the sheet and put numbers. Whew, the mailbot must have been really bored. He's having the time of his life. Hi. One for now? I'm carrying a... I'm hey, carrying... stop it! Don't play with the divining rod! Shoo! I'm carrying two whole cats. What? Rufus in the house, and soon he'll be in the vault. Now he's in the hall. Here he's hurting the foot. I'm Ouch. gonna. Oh, ah, yeah. What's this? Neither mic nor headphones. Oh, must I do every? I know where a mic and headphones are, so get those. Just take this? Okay, just take it. Alright. Um I need the headphones. <laughs> I bet their message makes more sense than anything low tech ever typed. The operator will thank me. <laughs> Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Okay. I also discovered that I can knock out the pair with a laughing gas, I guess. Which is A all right. Need more balloons. I'm gonna try to knock that guy out with the laughing gas then. Oh, this is so handy being able to double clip. This guy couldn't make head or tails. The only things he knows his way around those things. <laughs> the po hey, Tony. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects and yeah and water buffaloes but this parrot is completely different he's smart clean doesn't break stuff and he doesn't even have lice wow 
So he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, it's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out. Get out! Ugh. Ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Paul Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is a good Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> I'm a parrotback. What are you doing? <sighs> I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus don't have bird. <laughs> Cheap lies. How does the bird know that? This game gets confusing. So the operator will be busy. Rufus is a no good name. I'll take those. <laughs> Max, please! Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. please! Rufus has stolen the antenna Whoa. out missing goose Max, master. please! Rufus breeds grasshoppers in the wheat silo. Max, please! Rufus abused the harvester to steal time. That's Max, messed please. up. So now I have all the stuff I need. Can I, do I combine these? Nope, but no, I just... All that's missing... I have the microphone. Ready to go. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Chunk fly hazard in the northern quadrant, caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift. Cletus? Cletus! <sighs> Rufus is the most wonderful gift. <laughs> they call him Rufus. Rufus! <laughs> Searching for my fiance, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiance. Possibly she is. Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello? Rufus? Are you on Deponia? I found your fiance. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Tall? Long hair? Brain implant fell from a passing organ on cruiser. She asked about you. Believe me, she's your fiance. What's your price? Oh. I want to say the goal thing. First, I need some answers. Answers? Depends on what you want to know. What was your fiancé doing on board an organ on cruiser? That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business. I'm sorry, hold on. Are you re... Of course I am, but I don't get why you should care where I come from. I'm sorry, from. I clicked right through that. Are the Organons planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the higher spheres. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence. Don't even bother to try. What's it like on Elysium? Well, it's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay. Let's assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of, um, concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. <laughs> then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? 
No, he's trying to like do something. And you two are really engaged. Why are you asking me that? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, just uh, <laughs> chewing the fat. <laughs> Does your fiance have a sister by any chance? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just a <laughs> just a thought. You should spend less time thinking. Seems like your head isn't up to the task. That was mean. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Of course. Where were we? You wanted to make demands. What do you want in return for my fiancé? I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for gold. What do you think I am, a fool? If you're trying to squeeze more money out of me, you better just... Well, what do you want? I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible! Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Gold. Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. Do you think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. What didn't you find, Goal, after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just... W w wait a second. I... Cletus? Okay. Upper Ascension Station. Down on the, uh, up on the lower ascension station, up on top of the platform. Ha! Huh, easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming! I'll be honest, um, I thought her name was Goal because he was saying that she's the goal. Or that she was his goal. But can I just... Oh, what? But where is Goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo! The parrot. Look at you! Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Who found the Elysian? Uh... Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel. None other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus. Bailiff Argus. Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the Prime Authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, oh, Bailiff? Chief. I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wenzel. Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. I still have a lockpick, right? Do I have a diamond? Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. Where's my lockpick? No great in the world can hold me back. There, it moved while you were blinking. Boy, how often did people around me... Where's the lockpick? Cat? I don't want to let the cat out of... Nope, no it. Something worked. What? What was that sound? How the emergency? <laughs> Thanks, dumbass.
Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid <laughs> to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Mm. Come, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> I'm out. Later. Okay, so I gotta get to what's your face. I'm gonna play this one a bit longer, or maybe I don't. I'm at this for an hour. I how far in the the book am I? I don't know if I want to end it yet. Okay, yeah, I got pretty far. All I have to do is rescue her, and then I go there, and that's probably gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this series, well, not, if you're enjoying this series, sorry. Uh, go and leave a like, sub if you haven't already, comment anything, and I don't know how long this is going to be, but this says, this says a lot. This says 13, and I'm on one, so I am really scared to continue playing this game, but nonetheless, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.